Hello, it's Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're talking all about the math lessons for a living education level two. So before I get into the video, I just want to make sure you know that this video is not sponsored in any way. I purchased this curriculum myself with my own money. I'm not being paid to say any of these things. I just love to make these videos to kind of show you guys inside of the curriculums and give you an idea of the topics that they cover. So that way it might just help you in your decision making in your homeschool. I've had a lot of requests for a look inside of the level two for the math lessons for a living education. My daughter finished the level one and I have a full look inside of that. I'll link it up in the cards and then down below in the description as well. So if you're unfamiliar with math lessons for a living education, it is a master books curriculum. Some of the things that we love about the math lessons for a living education, we have level K going. Our twin boys are doing level K. My daughter already finished the level one in this same program. And then now we're moving on to level two. Uh, some of our favorite things about it are the stories at the beginning of each lesson. It tells a, um, a life story about these twins, Charlie and Charlotte, who are kind of going about their days and learning things or learning these math concepts through everyday their everyday lives love how short and simple the lessons are just keeping the kids interested and excited about math rather than just overwhelming them with a ton of work and so this definitely this program definitely provides that it is very simple every day and our kids look forward to doing math and that's really important to me i mentioned before that my daughter did the level one and it was a little easy for her so we went quickly through it and that was fine i just made sure that she knew everything in the program and we just breeze through it within you know just a few months um, but this one seems like it will be much more of a challenge for her which um, I'm really excited about and I think she is too she is one that really likes a challenge so I think this one's going to be really good for her so let's go ahead and take a look inside and talk about everything that this covers and I'm going to let you guys see inside the book so the course objectives it says to review addition and subtraction and basic numbers up to 100 so they're doing a lot of review which is great they're exploring new concepts like word problems, skip counting, uh, like skip counting money and time. Uh, they're learning how to read bar graphs and line graphs as well as understand basic measurement and identifying place values. They're doing regrouping concepts and measurements with a thermometer. And the scope and sequence we have, uh, they're go uh, just going over some place value village again, telling time, uh, they're doing addition and subtraction, they're learning um, some simple fractions, uh, they're gonna introduce word problems, skip counting by two, they're working on double digit addition, um, like double digit plus a single digit, double digit plus a double digit, they're doing uh, more addition review, um, introducing perimeter they're doing telling time to the minute more work with subtraction uh, review of regrouping concepts they're uh, understanding dollars and cents and writing money terms um, looking at thermometers and gauges uh, more on measurement talking about pounds and ounces and then they're just doing a lot of review at the end there sorry about the the artwork on the scope and sequence page. My little 18 month old is into everything these days and she just loves to be right there with us while we're doing the schoolwork. It's pretty hard to distract her. I actually have on my list of upcoming videos how to homeschool with a toddler. So be on the lookout for that. If you have a toddler, I'm gonna to be giving some little tips and tricks coming up here pretty soon. So let's move along to the first lesson. So the first lesson is place value, village, telling time, shapes, and patterns. So as I mentioned, each new lesson starts off with a story about Charlie and Charlotte, and then we move on to the exercise pages. So um, here is exercise one for day one, and then there's um, continuing, we're doing day one again, day two, two pages for day two, we're moving on to day three here. They're going over some shapes. And day three, so there's two pages for that one. We're doing some copy work on day four and then more on shapes on day four. 
And then day five, we're doing some more copy work as well as some telling time practice. And let's go ahead and look in the middle of the book. We'll look at a little sample lesson in the middle. All right, let's look at lesson 17, introducing subtraction with borrowing from the tens place. So we see this nice story here. This is a nice and long story. There's some little illustrations on the side. And then we get into the exercises. So we have the, um, they're working on some subtraction and that's all they have to do for that day is that one page and then they're practicing their flashcards. And then here's the next page, just lots, of, just lots of subtraction practice on these pages and a little bit of review. So that's in the middle of the book. So let's look at the end, maybe not the last lesson, but Let's do lesson 34 here. Let's look at lesson 34 here, review of money concepts. So they're talking a little bit about how they talked about money before and um, they're going over review. So they're counting out the following amounts for the teacher. We're looking at dollars and quarters here, learning about uh, reviewing the decimal point and how to add money. And they're subtracting dollar amounts and more review of the money, counting up the coins. And then this is just a fun little color by number at the end there. So thanks for watching this video today. I hope it was helpful for you to look inside of the Math Lessons for a Living Education Level 2. I know I love to see inside of curriculums before I buy them. I got this one on sale recently on Amazon and I just checked and it's still on sale. It's like $22 or $23, something like that. So I'll make sure to link it down below for you um, so you can grab that if you're interested in this curriculum. But so far we're really, really enjoying it. It's definitely been more of a challenge for my daughter, which has been welcomed. And so I'm excited excited to see her get through this and learn all these concepts and then just see where she is at the end of it. Thank you so much for watching this video today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, consider subscribing. Just push the little red subscribe button down below and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Life is a winding road